Jan Kotouč, author of several important work in the field of military science fiction and space opera. In addition to writing, Jan Kotouč holds a master's degree in uh, communication and mass media. He received the Encouragement Award in 2012 and is currently the main creator of the story for European Cyber Security Challenge. Hello, Mr. Hello. Kotouč. Thank you for inviting so, me. So, <laughs> you're welcome. How did you get into writing military science fiction and space opera? And maybe what is the difference between, between these two genres? Yeah, I think I can speak for most writers when I say that they don't think about genres and subgenres all that much. They simply like to write something they themselves would like to read if it were written by something else, which is my case. I, I like books by David Weber and Timothy Zahn and authors who wrote, wrote like similar type of genres. So I decided to write something similar. Mm -hmm. And both are like subgenres of science fiction, which I'm sure people know in general terms what that means. Uh, military science fiction usually revolves about, around military issues. There typically, but not necessarily, is some conflict. Often the main characters are members of the military. So that's military science fiction and space opera. It's, it's even more difficult to de define. And, but generally, I would say that space opera is a subgenre of science fiction where all the technologies and the different planets and all these, thing, all these things mm -hmm. are, just the pro are just props, just the environment. Not, mm -hmm. The story is not about it. So for example? Well, if Typical space opera is, for example, Star Wars. We, we, all, know. we all know it, or, mm -hmm. or Marvel movies. We don't care how the hyper, mm -hmm. hyper drive works, or we just look at the story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that does not mean that I don't try to be accurate with physics as possible. While I don't know much about it, I have people who advise me. But, I, but the story is not about it. It's mm -hmm. not about a new technology. Yeah, yeah. I see you brought some of your books, which have also been published in English translation, mm -hmm. which is not entirely common with the uh, CIFI written in Czech. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is it about? Yeah, this is actually the same book. It's the Czech edition and the English language edition. And this is the, my series called The Central Imperium, which is actually the series that the ECSC challenge is taking place in. And so it's the same universe, and this, these are four books. It's a space opera with, I like to say it's my love letter to the genre because it has like big empires rising and falling and intrigue and big battles and, mm -hmm. and a hero who owns a bunny and likes to play poker, which is my gimmick, something that's usually not somewhere else. This is my thing. And, and so this, our challenge is set in the same universe taking place after the story of these books, but the people don't need to read this to understand the story or what mm -hmm. the story is about. Mm -hmm. In addition to writing, you also organize uh, creative writing courses and you teach mm -hmm. at the University of New York, Prague. How, how did you get there and do you even teach during the pandemic? Before I taught uh, creative writing and also speculative literature and I get the, there as with anything in this, in this creative business by by fluke, by accident, by being in the right place at the right time. I just was there, was around when they were looking for someone mm -hmm. and actually there was some other projects I was supposed to do. It didn't happen, which is also absolutely mm -hmm. normal in this business. But later they asked me, they asked me if I would teach mm -hmm. speculative literature. Speculative means science yeah, fiction and yeah, fantasy. It came in the right time. Yeah, and then I taught there for a while creative writing. So let's go to the competition we are all looking forward to. Mm -hmm. As I said, you are a main creator for a story for mm -hmm. SCSC. Uh, so uh, which will accompany the contestant uh, during those uh, faithful two days. Mm -hmm. So what the story will be about? Mm -hmm. And well, it's basically the contestants will be crews of colony ships traveling to settle a new world, mm -hmm. a new planet in a different sector which is, takes, as I said, it takes place after the story. So there was a war, the civilization tries to rise again. So they travel to settle a new world. Mm -hmm. And of course, something goes wrong. And, and because it's a competition of hackers or cybersecurity, then something, someone is going to hack their ships mm -hmm. and cause trouble with their, for example, 
uh, environment and with their hyperdrive or or with their gra artificial gravity, all these things, and they need, and the competitors would need to solve these problems. Mm -hmm. And so the and it, I think it will be maybe they will end up on the planet and they will surf or try to solve other problems on that planet itself. Mm. And so they will start in space and probably end up on the planet. I really would like to know how does this such a story for what is the procedure? Mm -hmm. Well, this was this was different, very different than when I, for example, tried to figure out the story of the first book because this is a group effort, and I was approached by Jaroslav Burchig, who is in charge of this project, and and we were brainstorming and yep. I think there is in the at the point that I honestly don't remember who came up first with some idea. I know we've been talking about colony fleet for, for some time and then I, I suggested that if it can take place in my universe of the Central Imperium and they said yes and then we figured out if it should be like one ship or several ships and all if it should be some bonus content and what types mm -hmm. of problems would there be and I also know that then I've been talking with students mm -hmm. who are going to be like creating the yeah. problems for their <laughs> colleagues uh, and they had questions like well can we can we like have fridge because we thought some problem would be involve a fridge mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if there are fridges in the future and I said it's everything is in the future and you can always call it like a cryogenic echo <laughs> freezer or something like that so and the problem would be the same mm -hmm. yeah so that's how the brainstorming worked and some and some places are still yet left purposefully ambiguous because we may figure out we need to put this there or that there so it's some we, we need to fill in the blanks we still need to mm -hmm. fill in some blanks. and how long took that brainstorming well, I, I was first approached by Jarda Burcik about a year ago mm -hmm. and we did some brainstorming. We had pretty good general idea in the spring, then of course we were away during the summer. Mm -hmm. Then we again had some brainstorming sessions in the fall and then I sat down and wrote a short story which sort of takes place before the yeah. event, the competition, before the story of the competition, so before the colony ships set off and and I we had an agreement that once I sit down to write a short story I need to have all the main things locked or like set in stone because so I would not have to rewrite the short ah. story later if they decide to do something else which is not which is thankfully not what happened so mm. this short story was finished and and that would take place before and I think the, it would be available online for the participants. And how did you react uh, to the offer to be the main creator of the story? Mm -hmm. Have you ever uh, participate uh, in a similar type of event? Yeah, I'll, again, I will answer the second question first. I did not. I did some small things like I wrote script for fan film or for mm. some theater play and of course I write books. Yeah. but. Not, not an event like that and I think my first reaction was what is that because I did not know what it is what it entails mm. and, I, and I was not sure what I was not exactly sure at the beginning what is a, being mm -hmm. asked of me how does it whole thing work so I so the first few short, yeah. the first few brainstorming sessions were like uh, yeah. more like more like for me to get to understand what's actually is going to happen so I cannot say I was shocked or in happy. a nice way you know yeah I was <laughs> I, I, cannot say, I cannot say I was shocked or happy or whatever because I just mm -hmm. more, 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 just was curious. mostly curious. Yeah, yeah, I was mostly curious. curious. How are you looking forward to competition and do you wonder how the contestant will react to your story? Yeah, of course I wonder. I, will, I will look forward to just be there. I can be, what is, as it's called, the fly on mm -hmm. the wall mm -hmm. and just observe the students. They will mm -hmm. Probably be talking in a language I barely understand because they will talk all about the cyber security and <laughs> and drinking lots of energy drinks and and so I will I'm interested in the reaction because as you mm -hmm. as you pointed out this is the first time I'm doing yeah. something like yeah. this so I'm it's we'll it's terra incognita for me <laughs> it will be interesting yeah. so thank you for a nice interview and have a nice day thank, thank you. you.